Crock pot soup secrets handy tips and tricks soup is normally something you imagine bubbling away on the stove, rather than simmering quietly in a crock pot, so why would you want to make a crock pot soup recipe? Actually, there are several reasons, but the most important one is flavor. By definition, food cooks slowly in a slow cooker, and whether you are making a stew, a casserole, a soup or something else, all the flavors in your meal blend together in a crock pot more intensely than with any other cooking method. Crock pot cooking is also handy if you're going to be out all day because you can leave your French onion soup recipe, or whichever recipe you are making, to cook by itself. To make the best crock pot soup recipes, it is important to follow the recipe closely. With a lot of crock pot recipes, you simply throw everything in stir it, and leave it, but if there are any other steps, it is important to do them. Essential tips for crock pot soups fill your crock pot about three quarters full but no more, else your crock pot soup will not cook properly. Remember that crock pots cook whatever is on the bottom faster than what is on the top. This is why hard vegetables like carrots and potatoes are normally added to the crock pot first, and meat or poultry goes on top. Tender mushrooms like tomatoes and mushrooms only need about 45 minutes, so you can add these near the end of the cooking time. Add dairy products like heavy cream or sour cream in the last 30 minutes, unless the recipe tells you otherwise. You do not have to stir your soup while it cooks. If you remove the crock pot lid, you will lose heat from inside which means you need to add 20 more minutes to the cooking time. Turn the lid back and forth quickly a few times, so the condensation drips off, and you will be able to see inside the crock pot. Crock pot creamy potato and celery soup recipe This recipe for potato and celery soup is very easy to make. You simply chop the ingredients, add everything to your crock pot, and leave it to cook for about 8 hours. If you will be out working all day and you want to get home do something hot and delicious, this crock pot soup recipe is ideal. This recipe serves 8 people, so have it if you want. Potato and celery soup in the slow cooker what you will need, 6 red potatoes, in 1 half inch cubes to slice leeks, just the white part, 1 cup half and half 1 chopped yellow onion 1 can cream of cheddar soup 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 fourth teaspoon black pepper 4 cups chicken broth 1 peeled, diced carrot or parsnip 1 can cream of celery soup to sliced stalks celery to minced garlic cloves 2 tablespoons chopped fresh parsley how to make it, put the chopped potatoes and carrot or parsnip into the crock pot. Pour the cheddar soup and the celery soup over the top, then sprinkle over the salt, pepper, and fresh parsley. Add the leeks onion, garlic, and celery. Mix together the half and half and the chicken broth and pour this mixture over the top. Cover the crock pot and cook the potato and celery soup on low for 8 hours. Check the potato. If it is not quite tender, cook the soup for another hour. Serve this potato soup hot, with crusty bread and butter on the side. With the cooler weather setting into the nights, Air many a cook's attentions turn to warmer more filling meals. One of these meals so many like during the brisk night's dinners is soup. There are many different kinds of soup too many to name here but one soup above all conjures up images of elegance, sophistication and extraordinary presentations like that of French onion soup. Crock pot soup secrets handy tips and tricks soup is normally something you imagine bubbling away on the stove, rather than simmering quietly in a crock pot, so why would you want to make a crock pot soup recipe? Actually.